This is a Madas BZS. It's an electric, fully automatic calculator. It has a full keyboard and uh, yeah, when you enter a number, you can read off what you've entered up here in this input display register and press the plus button and it will add to the main register up here. Uh, the counter register here is also incremented by one. And you can of, of course subtract by pressing the minus button. Ah, it doesn't do anything now because the keyboard was cleared automatically. Each time you, you do a plus or minus the keyboard gets cleared afterwards, as you can see. If you want to uh, undo that, you can push down this, this button and it sticks down. And then it's, uh, it's set to repeat. Let me just clear the counter. So if I now enter a number and add it, it will, uh, yeah, it will remain on the keyboard. And also if I keep the button down, it will uh, yeah, repeatedly add it. So I've now added it five times, essentially multiplying it by five. I can shift the carriage using these arrow buttons. I've shifted it once to the right, so now it's going to uh, do the tens digits, the tens multiplier digit. So I've now multiplied it by 75, and here's the result. And now I've multiplied it by 175, and so on. These buttons here clear the uh, registers. This clears the, the main register. This clears the counter. And this clears the keyboard. This one is not electric, it's just manual. Um, yeah, there are a lot of other buttons here. Uh, the uh, this button and this button are used for division. If I enter a number and press this button, it shifts the carriage all the way to the right and adds the input to the main register, but doesn't affect the counter. Or the counter is cleared, I think, maybe. Uh, and um, yeah, so with this you set the uh, dividend of a division. If I want to divide it by 113, the standard uh, example of division, I just have to press this div button and it will start the division. There we go, yeah, 3.14159290. I hope that's correct. Um, there are also these buttons up here. Those are the uh, tabulator buttons. With this you can uh, set how, how many digits you need in the division. So if I do this, the same thing again, enter the dividend, it only shifts it four uh, steps to the left. So uh, yeah, I have a much shorter uh, calculation now. I don't know if it's normal that it goes all the way to the left first. Um, I, it took a long time to uh, lubricate this machine and it's still not entirely working. In fact, the, uh, this bar down here doesn't work. That's the multiplier bar. But uh, we'll come to that. Anyway, so I've, the division uh, is done. Uh, it can be done using these tabulator buttons. If I press the 9 button, yeah, that's the furthest left, and it pops up the rest. Uh, yeah, so if you do a division and you need to stop it at any point, 
immediately you can press the stop button and if you um, if you only want to stop it uh, after a, a certain digit has been calculated you can push this little tab here that pops up the division button so uh, yeah then it will still calculate the current digit before uh, stopping the calculation let's uh, let's see if that works Ah, yeah, so this 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 button here is to uh, to stop it immediately. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, so the stop button is where it still calculates the current digit before ending the uh, calculation. This tab is only for immediate uh, stopping of the division so that you can stop it when it's dividing by zero. Uh, these small switches here they uh, change whether the counter has to be incremented or decremented so if you switch this that's for with the division that allows you to do uh, a negative uh, division essentially uh, subtracting the uh, result of the division from the counter. Whereas this uh, switch here uh, changes the uh, direction of the counter with respect to the uh, plus and minus buttons. There is, uh, yeah, there is another button here, that's this one. What this does is it copies the uh, number in the main register to the uh, register down here which is the multiplier register. So let's try that out. I have some number here and yeah so this is cleared and that 105 is now copied down here. You can also uh, use these knobs here to, to set a number and with this button here you can clear this. Now this multiplier register that doesn't really work on this machine because how it should work is that if you have a number on the keyboard and you press this multiplier that number gets entered here. It's not doing that and then if you uh, enter another number and press the button it will multiply that number with the number that's here and add that to the main register. Unfortunately I haven't gotten that to work. There is some some small lever somewhere deep inside the machine that's uh, stuck and uh, yeah if I try that it's going to go into a, an infinite loop. Um, this button on this end that's for negative multiplication that does the, uh, the the same thing as the main bar but it subtracts the result from the main register there's also a small uh, button here that you can push in or release and that determines whether the the, the multiplier register is cleared or not after a, a multiplication but as I said, that unfortunately doesn't work. There are a few other neat things on this machine. The name BZS. B is just the series number or series letter. The Z means it has a, a carry mechanism that goes all the way to the end of the main register. So if I subtract one, you see the nines go all the way to the end. On most of these machines the carry um, mechanism is only in the body of the machine so it can only go up to here and anything that's overhanging on the left of the machine uh, won't, won't have carries. But there's a, a special mechanism in this, this part of the, uh, of the um, carriage that uh, yeah, 
that implements the, the carry. And these small uh, tabs here are part of that. These get pushed in as the carriage uh, moves to the right and determines whether the, uh, any carry operation has to be performed by the carry mechanism inside the machine or the carry mechanism inside the carriage. There's also this little switch here. This splits the main register at this, this marking point into, into two separate parts. If I clear the main register now, it only clears this right-hand side. But if I switch this horizontal again, then it would clear both sides. What this, so what this does is it allows you to have uh, two separate numbers here, one for immediate calculations and one for uh, totals, so subtotals and totals, for example. And uh, yeah, there are also these, these little uh, things here to, to mark uh, a column, a decimal point. And yeah, I think that's about it. That's all there is to say. Oh yeah, there is one small switch on the side here that tells you whether the, um, the carriage has to return to, uh, to its tabulated position uh, after multiplication or not. Uh, yeah, and that's it. This was the uh, Madas BZS. Thank you for watching.